this video is about the exponential functions and growth how we can use these functions to understand the phenomenon of growth in economic functions primarily we will have a mathematical introduction to these functions and then in the later videos we will apply this kind of uh, functions on economic situations it is to be uh, understood that it's not just about growth we can also study decay process by using the same functions that is exponential growth versus exponential decay so considering both of the possibilities uh, let us see that how it works a quantity that increases or decreases that is the decay by a fixed factor per unit of time is said to increase or decrease exponentially so it's an uh, it's a fixed factor per unit of time that is happening it is it's an increase or it's a decrease so if this is the standard form in which we have a capital a which is a coefficient and a is the base and t that is time is in the exponent then a is that factor by which y increases when t increases by one unit so this is that factor that we were talking about and it is equal to a let's see the graph of it as you can see we have plotted time on x axis and y on you know y axis the dependent variable and this is the standard form of it and this is the range and in this range we can see that this factor that is a is a fraction it is smaller than 1 and it is greater than 0 so it's a positive fraction so this is uh, a possibility and in this possibility the curve will be in a declining way as you can see it's a negatively sloped curve but you can see the decline is substantial it is an exponential decay so the exponential decay is visible as you can see it is declining and it is getting close to the x-axis so this is the possibility of the exponential decay definitely there should be another possibility which should be exponential growth so let us see how that will work this is the possibility of exponential growth in which the same functional form is there however in this case that is the case of exponential growth we have a is uh, a greater than one so it's not a fraction anymore it's a positive value again however it is greater than one rather being a fraction so you can see it's a positively sloped curve and most importantly it is increasing exponentially with every unit of time the increase is substantially more than before so whenever a that is the base is uh, greater than one we will have exponential growth in addition to these exponential functions there is a certain category of uh, exponential functions that we are going to study here we were considering that the, the base is a it's not any other base and that value would be either a you know 2 or 10 or any other value or less than 1 that is 0 0.5 for example so this is uh, a, a, you know a normal situation sometimes this value of a is equal to a certain value which is this value so if the value of a is equal to this we don't call it a anymore we call it Euler number Euler number is basically um, a certain situation Euler number when we have the Euler number in the base or the foundation then we can say that it is a certain kind of the exponential function yes it is still an exponential function however we can call it a natural exponential function and you can see that we have not written a anymore rather we have written e and another observation is that this number that is Euler number is an irrational number and you can uh, consult your literature uh, for what is an irrational number so graphically we can observe it if uh, we have the exponential function in the form of natural exponential function then uh, if it has a positive value in the exponent that is x 
then we will have exponential growth as you can see with the help of this curve it is an exponential growth whereas if the exponent is negative in this natural exponential function there will be uh, a decline as you can see the decline is happening so this is the exponential decay and this was exponential growth they are quite similar to the uh, exponential functions the ordinary exponential functions where we had a instead of e as you can uh, you know see this a and in both of these cases exponential decay or growth but now the value of a is a certain value which is the euler number due to which we have a certain level of uh, um, you know growth or decay and it is a common phenomenon which is used in economics and other social sciences as well as in pure sciences because we can use it to gr graph the sum of money that grows over time in the form of capital this is one of the possibilities that we might see as well as it can also represent the growth of population and it can also represent the growth of wealth or real capital that is in physical terms the capital in physical terms and most recently the growth in the covid-19 infections is also an example of the exponential growth because you saw that whenever a new wave of covid-19 came it gave rise to a certain uh, increase in the number of infections and this is another example of uh, the exponential growth and exponential decay can also happen but right now what we have witnessed is the exponential growth uh, at various points in time uh, at in various waves of covid-19 so in this way exponential functions they may be ordinary exponential functions or natural exponential functions they can be used to understand the phenomenon of growth of various economic and as well as the uh, non economic variables thank you